Next, reflected ray is represented by R cap. Therefore, incident ray, normal reflected ray lie in a same plane. This may be a, this may be say in other words, incident ray is represented by I cap vector, normal is represented by N bar vector, reflected ray is also represented by R bar a vector. Now that is I bar, that is N bar cross R bar is equal to, right now that is n bar dot that is r bar cross i bar that equals to that is r bar dot i bar cross that is n bar is equals to 0. Now mathematically incident ray normal reflected ray are lie in a same plane in the form of vectors right this is the scalar form i is equals to r right what is the vector form e2 is equals to e1 minus 2 into e1 dot n into n right incident ray normal reflected ray are lie in a same plane in another words we can say incident ray i bar normal n bar and r bar is the reflected ray then i dot n bar cross r bar is equals to 0. Next one. Now here this is called incident ray. Now this is called reflected ray. The angle between incident ray to the normal sorry the angle between incident ray to the reflected ray is called deviation angle. What is the deviation angle? Deviation angle right deviation angle now that deviation angle is represented by delta now this is a o let us consider that is a b c right a b c that is along a that is a o c along a o c this is a straight line therefore what is a straight angle that is i plus r plus delta is equals to 180 degrees according to angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection i plus delta is equals to 180 therefore 2i plus delta is equals to 180 delta is equals to 180 minus 2i now this is here this is the total reflection next one about the mirrors before going to say mirrors we want to define what is the object what is the image therefore what is the object what is the object right it is the source of incident rays generally in the ray optics what is the object means source of source of incident rays source of incident rays source of incident rays right let us consider these objects are what to say two types right A real object A real object Second one, virtual object. Second one, virtual object. Real object and the virtual object. Now this is the let us consider object. If the incident rays are diverged, if the incident rays are diverged, right? The incident rays are diverged the incident rays are diverged then it is called what to say real object now this is called what to say a light ray this is the light ray now these are the light rays now extend this line incident ray now extend this line incident ray now extend this line incident ray 
therefore this point is called what to say virtual now here virtual object therefore incident rays are converged in the incident rays are converged if the incident rays are diverged it is a real object if the incident rays are converged to a fixed point then it is called virtual object similarly right what is the image similarly what is the image right the point where reflected rays are refracted rays are really intersected or supposed to be intersected the point where the reflected rays are intersected or appears to be intersected now because of that is because of reflected rays right reflected rays intersecting point reflected rays intersecting point is called image now again this images are two types what to say real image next one what to say virtual image real image and the virtual image now real image if the light rays are like this if the light rays are like this now this is called reflected light ray this is called reflected light ray this is called reflected light ray the reflected ray light rays are really intersect at a particular point therefore the reflected light rays are converged then such a image is called real image now let us consider these are called what to say The re this is the reflected ray. This is the reflected ray. This is the reflected ray. As the reflected rays are extended back, oh, therefore this is called what to say virtual object. Therefore this is called virtual image. Therefore here that is called diverged. Diverged. If the reflected rays are converged, real image. If the reflected rays are diverged, then it is called virtual image. Real image can be captured on the screen. Captured on the screen. Captured on the screen. Real image can be captured on the screen. now virtual image cannot be captured cannot be captured on the screen captured on the screen here in order to discuss reflection in mirrors you want to define what is the object what is the image right the source of incident rays is called object now if the incident rays are diverged it is a real object if the incident rays are converged it is a virtual object now what is the image what is the image point generally the image is formed by reflected rays or refracted rays the intersecting point of reflected rays or the inter intersecting point of refracted rays is called image point the point where the where the reflected rays or refracted rays are really intersected or appears to be intersected is called image these images are two types real image and virtual image because of converged reflected rays real image because of diverged reflected rays it is the virtual image generally real image can be captured on the screen virtual image cannot be captured on the screen